Dispel Russian troops, Ukrainian troops bomb their own bridge. The Voznesinsk bridge shattered into pieces. It was not the Russian army that bombed the bridge, but the Ukrainian troops and the surrounding population. This was done so that Russian troops and their armored vehicles could not pass and control the strategic city. The two days of fighting in Voznesinsk showed that Ukraine could not be underestimated even though they were outnumbered and outgunned. The Kremlin has been trying to take over the city since March 2 after they took control of Kherson. Voznesinsk has a bridge to cross the southern Burr River. It is the second longest river in Ukraine. If they could take Voznesinsk, Russian troops could head to Odessa from the rear and towards the Yuzhnukrainsk nuclear power plant. Of the five nuclear plants in Ukraine, it is the second largest. Ukrainian troops are assisted by volunteers who are residents of the city. They do not have modern weapons and tanks like Russia. Ukrainian troops use grenades, rocket launchers, javelin missiles and artillery. The locals used hunting guns, stones and jars to attack the Russian soldiers. Residents blockaded roads and led Russian troops into open areas that were vulnerable to attack. This is a strategic location. We defend not only the city, but also all the territory behind it, said Yevgeny Velichko, mayor of Voznesinsk, as quoted by the BBC. The majority of the city's 35,000 inhabitants speak Russian. However, they are not in the opposition. They were against the invasion. The frenzied resistance repelled the Russian troops. The Wall Street Journal reports that at least 100 Russian soldiers were killed and 10 others captured. Russian troops left 30 of their 43 vehicles. Includes tanks, armored personnel carriers, multiple rocket launchers, and trucks.